Here's how to get comfortable with Kubernetes API. Walking through the Kubernetes API is the easiest way to get familiar with Kubernetes capabilities. Let's take a look at what happens under the hood when we type in three well-known kube control commands. We'll use kube control commands to create, list, and delete pods, and sniff on Wireshark to see what's going on from a network perspective. What we'll see is the communication between the kube control client and the master node API for each of these commands. Let's create an Nginx web server pod with the kube control create command first, using this YAML file. Here's the kube control command that creates our Nginx pod. And this is what we see on Wireshark. Kube control client sends an HTTP POST request to default namespace to create the pod and the API confirms the object has been created with HTTP 201 code. When listing pods, the kube control client uses HTTP GET instead, and the API server replies with HTTP 200 OK, along with a JSON file containing all the info about all the pods that belong to default's namespace. Lastly, when deleting our Nginx pod, the kube control client sends an HTTP DELETE request. The master node now replies with an HTTP 200 OK, indicating it has successfully deleted the pod. The reply also contains a JSON file with all the information available about the pod and its termination. As you can see, sniffing Kubernetes API traffic using well-known commands is an easy way to learn more about Kubernetes API. For a full rundown on our Kubernetes lab test, including Wireshark screenshots, read this article.